workout of the week. Uh, today's workout is going to be an AMRAP workout. We're going to do 10 minutes, and we're going to do five to four different exercises. Uh, 10 reps for each exercise. Okay? So, first exercise is actually two exercises. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do five high knees, five mountain climbers. Okay? And you're going to do 10 reps of that. So every time you do five high knees, five mountain climbers, that's one rep, all right? So um, it's easy to lose count on these. Just try and focus on um, making sure that you try and do 10 reps, okay? So for those of you starting out, we're just going to take out the impact, okay? So our high knees, we're just going to stand with our feet about hip width apart. Knees are soft. They're slightly bent. You're going to march in place. You're going to have your hands at about chest height. You're going to touch your knee to your hand. Two, three, four, five. Okay? You're going to come down on the ground, push up position for mountain climbers. We're going to count the same way. One, Two, three, four, five. Okay? <clears throat> then you're going to stand back up and you're going to do your high knees again. So that was one rep. I'm going to start over. Okay? If you want to make it more difficult, easiest way to make it more difficult is to speed up the process. All right, so obviously the most advanced is going to be uh, very quick paced. So it's going to look something like this. One, two, three, four, five. I think I did an extra one. One, two, three, four, five. Hop back up and then keep going. Okay? So 10 reps of that. Second exercise is going to be the twisted push up. Okay, so this is a slightly more advanced move. So for those of you starting out, we're just going to do regular push-ups. You're just going to do 10 push-ups. Okay, so you're going to come down on your knees, put hands underneath your shoulders, come down as far as you can, press up. Okay, 10 of those. Move this to the side, it might be easier to see. So, nice straight body line, core is tight, down and up, all right? For those of you who want to try with a twist, what you can do is you're going to start in a crab position. You're going to bring one leg under, one arm over. If you're just starting out, go ahead and put your knees on the ground. Push up. Come back up. Now the same hand goes over, same leg goes under. Next time, other hand goes over and other foot goes under. Okay? So you're in this position, knees on the ground, push up. And then come back to your starting position. <clears throat> and then for the more advanced, uh, Exercise, you're going to do the same thing, except you're going to keep um, your knees off the ground, okay? So this is kind of like an intermediate level. Hand over, leg under, both feet on the ground, push up. Come back to your starting position. Opposite side, push up. Back to the starting position, okay? And then finally, more advanced version. Whatever leg is moving underneath your body, as you come over, that leg is going to stay in the air. And you're going to do a push-up with one leg up in the air. Okay? So you're going to start in your crab position. You're going to bring one leg under, one arm over. Keep your leg up in the air. One leg push-up. Come back to your starting position. Rotate the other way. Keep that leg up in the air, push up, and 
back to your starting position. Okay? And you're just going to alternate back and forth. All right? <clears throat> so when you count, it's going to be one, two, three, all the way up to ten. Okay? <clears throat> Next exercise is going to be a lunge with a forward kick. So we're going to alternate sides again. So you're going to count just like you did for the push-ups. All right? So if you're just starting out, we're just going to do lunges. You're going to stand with your feet about hip width apart. You're going to step back. You're going to come down for a lunge. That's one. Step forward. Step back with the opposite leg. Two. Step forward. Step back on the right. Three. Step back on the left. Four. Okay? So that's the beginner version. For those of you who want to add the kick, same thing. You're going to step back. Kick forward, down. Step back on the other side. Kick forward. That's two. Three. Alternating legs until you get up to ten. Okay? That's the third exercise. Finally, fourth exercise is going to be ninja tuck jumps. So, for those of you just starting out, we're just going to do the get up portion. Okay? <clears throat> so, you're going to start both knees on the ground. Uh, you're going to start with your feet, the weight on the balls of your feet. What I want you to do is try not to use your hands. You're going to step one leg forward and then step up. So that time I step forward with the left leg. I'm going to come back down. This time I'm going to step forward with the right leg. Step forward. Stand up, and then back down. So that's two. I'm going to start with the left again. That's three, and the right. That's four. Okay, just alternating back and forth until you get to um, ten reps. <clears throat> okay, next level up is you're going to uh, add a jump. Okay, so for those of you starting out, uh, we're just going to do a squat jump. Okay, so you're going to step up on the left, step forward, squat and jump. Come back down, that was one. Step forward on the right, step up, squat jump. Come back down, that's two. Okay, for those of you who want to do a little bit more advanced, Instead of a squat jump, you're going to do a tuck jump. Okay, so you're going to step up, and you're going to um, jump and bring both knees up as high as you can. Okay, so it's going to look like this. All right, if you want, you can use your hands, and you're going to try and hit your knees to your hands. Okay, down on the mat again. This time we're going to step forward on the right, step up, tuck jump, back down, okay? Again, alternating left and right until you get to 10 reps. And then finally, the more advanced version is you're going to start in this position. You're going to bring your knees up towards your body and uh, hop your feet underneath your body. So instead of doing one leg at a time, we're going to do both legs at the same time, okay? So we're going to hop up, and we're going to do a tuck jump, and then come back down, all right? Hop up, tuck jump, okay? If you're just starting out and you find that this position is really painful on your knees, um, instead of doing just the get-ups, you're just going to do squats, okay? So again, when you do your squats, 
Feet are slightly wider than hip width apart. Weight is on the heels of your feet. You're going to sit your hips back, coming down as far as you can, making sure your knees don't go past your toes, and then up, squeezing through the glutes as you drive your hips up, down, and up, okay? So again, that's if your knees are really bothering you, if you can't um, put a lot of pressure like, like this when you're on the ground. So just um, avoid doing this, this portion at all. You're just going to do squats. Okay, so those are your four workout or four exercises. Again, it's a 10 minute AMRAP. Um, you're gonna do 10 reps of five high knees, five mountain climbers, and 10 reps of twisted push ups, 10 lunges with a kick, and 10 ninja tuck jumps. All right, so good luck.